And yung kaiba or pinagkaiba, pagkaibahan, ano yun? Di ko alam paano Tagalogin yan, yung pinagkaiba. Ah, tama ba yun? Ah, basta yun na yun, yung difference, Englishin ko na lang. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about makeup dupes. Ito yung mga drugstore alternatives sa mga mamahaling makeup ngayon. Ako kasi mga best, pag naghahanap ako ng drugstore dupe, hindi lang yung color pareho, but yung formula nila. Hindi naman 100% pareho talaga, pero if you put it on your face or you swap, it, hindi mo talaga malalaman kung saan si drugstore or si high-end. Before I start, I want you guys to guess kung saan yung drugstore and high-end na side sa face ko ngayon. So, I did a half and half sa half ng face ko drugstore and sa half ng face ko din high-end. So, again, let me know in the comment section below kung nag-guess nyo kung saan yung drugstore and high-end. So, I'm gonna show you my face first. So, this is the right side. And this is the left side. Comment kayo sa baba kung nakuha niyo ba kung saan si drugstore and high-end. Lahat ng drugstore makeup sa right side, tapos sa left naman yung high-end. Let's start with this primer right here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Hollywood Flawless Filter. And yung shade go to Light Clear. And this is how it looks like. Super bougie yung packaging. Yes, maganda talaga siya. And maganda naman talaga siya. Pero hindi maganda yung presyo niya. This one's really, really expensive. This is a multi-purpose product. You can use it as a liquid highlighter. You can use it as a primer. And then you can mix this in with your matte foundation, especially if you have dry skin para may luminosity yung skin natin. This is actually called a tinted complexion booster. So yung ibig sabihin nun, meron siyang tint ng konti. So kung mala artistahin yung skin nyo, wala kang blemishes and ayaw mo mag foundation. And if you want to add a healthy glow sa cheeks nyo, then put your moisturizer and then add this and yun na. Glass skin. Luminous and healthy skin. Ito po yung nahanap ko na drugstore alternative dito kay Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is from L'Oreal. It's called the True Match Lumi Lumi Glotion. Yung color na to 902. Medyo pare-pareho lang yung color nila. Again, this is too light clear. Ito naman 902 light glow. Nagamit ko na sila maraming beses off camera para alam ko talaga yung sasabihin ko sa inyo. And nagamit ko na rin to with my other foundations here. And dalawa yung nakita ko na magkaiba sa dalawa. Um, yung first, yung consistency talaga. Mas thicker yung consistency ni Charlotte compared kay Lori Ito mas liquidy siya, but when you put it on your face, pareho lang naman sila tingnan. Next naman yung blurring properties, hindi ko alam po anong magic or ingredient yung nilagay ni Charlotte dito kasi nabablur out niya talaga yung pores ko. So ito naman, kung ano yung pores ko dati, yun lang talaga siya. Hindi naman yan na-emphasize. So if you guys are looking for a drugstore alternative dito sa primer na to, then I can highly, highly recommend this one from L'Oreal. A lot of people are talking about this foundation for a reason kasi maganda naman talaga siya. This is from Bite Beauty. It's called the Change Maker Supercharge Micellar Foundation and I got it in the shade L30. Maganda itong foundation na to. Pero nung first time akong nakahingi ng sample from Sephora, hindi ko siya nagustuhan kasi pangit siya dito na area. Pero sa cheeks ko and sa noo ko, maganda siya. Pero dito talaga, it looks really crusty. But when I started doing the new foundation technique, sabi niyo sikat yun sa TikTok, di ba? Pero kay Jordan Liberty ko yun nakita na video. Pag yun na foundation technique yung ginamit ko sa foundation na to, sobrang ganda talaga. As in, sobrang flawless. Hindi ko lang pala ginawa yung new foundation technique today kasi pag mga luminous primer, hindi siya nag-work mga best. Tinry ko naman siya eh. Pero masyadong texture tingnan yung skin ko. So again, as what I said on that video, merong primer na nag-work sa foundation technique na yan and meron ding hindi. So you have to experiment. Maganda to pang everyday kasi magaan lang talaga siya sa skin. Natural or satin finish. Hindi siya matte, hindi din siya luminous. Nasa gitna lang siya. Tapos yung coverage niya, medium, naka-high medium naman siya. Pero hindi siya nag-full coverage. Kaya maganda nga siya pang everyday kasi hindi siya heavy tingnan. But, whenever I apply this foundation, it always reminds me of this foundation from Everbelena. And this is called the All Day Liquid Foundation. Yung shade ko nito, L30. Ito naman, porcelain. Medyo magkaiba yung shade nilang dalawa. Ito nga, yung Everbelena. Feeling ko mas bagay siya sa skin color ko. Let me know in the comment section below kasi sometimes nabubulag na ako dito sa mga ilaw ko. Um, pero feeling ko mas swap tong porcelain sa undertone ko compared dito kay L30 from Bite Beauty. Pero let's talk about the finish 
finish first. Pareho lang talaga sila. Natural, satin finish, not matte, not luminous. Tapos yung coverage nila, medium to high medium. Tapos yung longevity nila, like dito lang naman sa bahay kasi hindi ako lumabas ng bahay. Pero pareho lang din. Like kung tatanggalin ko na yung makeup ko, titingnan ko sa salamin, parang, ha? Huh? Bakit sila pareho? And ngayon, kung titingnan ko yung face ko, mas na-emphasize dito kay, um, dito kay, dito sa Bite Beauty na side, yung smile lines ko compared dito sa right side ko. Yung difference silang dalawa, kasi ginamit ko to na moisturizer lang, tapos walang primer, mas blurry ng konti yung Bite Beauty compared dito kay Everbelena. Pero yung finish, everything, pareho lang talaga. So, if you're looking for an alternative dito kay Bite Beauty, um, eto guys, si Everbelena All Day Liquid Foundation. Hindi ako nag-joke. Um, this is only 195 pesos. Pero lumalaban, bes. Lumalaban siya. Retouch ko lang ng konti kasi uminom ako ng coffee. If you have been wanting to get this powder from Hourglass and hindi nyo binibili kasi expensive nga to eh. Meron siyang travel size pero expensive pa rin. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder and nasali na to sa mga beauty favorites ko before kasi maganda talaga siya. Feeling ko ginawa tong powder na to para sa mga dry skin or normal skin. I cannot recommend this if you have combo and oily skin kasi mag-oil up ka talaga ng bonggang-bongga kasi meron siyang luminosity ng konti. Walang coverage, translucent. It's just really gonna give you that healthy glow. Meron akong na hanap na drugstore alternative na kung travel size yung bibilhin nyo nito, $20, uh, makakabili ka na ng apat or lima dito. I'm bad sa math. So, magpasensyahan nyo na po. Um, this is from e.l.f. Ito yung bago nila. This is called the Halo Glow Setting Powder. When you apply it on your face, hindi mo talaga makikita yung difference. And na-shock din ako guys nung in-apply ko to. Kasi ito, binili ko. Um, hindi ko naman nainisip eh na bibilhin ko to kasi baka dupe siya kay Hourglass. Hindi talaga. Na-curious lang ako sa word na halo. Kaya nung pag-apply ko, sabi ko, parang pareho-pareho to kay Hourglass eh. Pero yung difference na yung texture. Ito, mas makapal. Like, if you really feel it, like both powders, si e.l.f. mas makapal ng konti. Pero translucent pa rin siya. Tapos yung color ni e.l.f. Um, mas neutral siya compared kay Hourglass. Kakakakakak. Kasi si Hourglass may pagka-yellow siya, so mas swak talaga siya sa skin color ko. Pero translucent kasi sila eh. So when you like apply it on your skin, hindi nyo na ikita yung difference ng dalawa. So if you're looking for a drugstore alternative, eto guys, si e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. As in, pareho lang talaga yung mukha niya sa skin ko. Hindi ko ginamit itong powder foundation na to sa mukha ko today. Pero gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo, if you're looking for a drugstore alternative, dito kay It Celebration Foundation and Illumination. So this is from It Cosmetics. Sobrang love na love ko tong powder foundation na to. Maraming ayaw. Kasi nga, if you have oily skin or combo skin, you're not gonna love this powder foundation. Kasi nga, sa pangalan pa lang na Illumination, it's really meant for dry skin girls and normal skin girls. Sobrang ganda nito. Medium to full coverage. Hindi siya cakey, hindi siya dry. Basta maganda talaga siya, especially if you have dry skin like me. And yung same talaga nito, magkaiba lang yung color nilang dalawa. Itong J-Cat Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. And super the same. Like, when you feel it, when you touch it and when you apply it on your skin super pareho lang talaga ano ba yan? mali yan! Yung shade ko dito sa It Cosmetics Light. Tapos dito naman sa J-Cat Natural. Magkaiba sila. Mas darker to ng konti. Pero yung formula nila super the same lang. And ito guys, I understand. This is not really like drugstore drugstore price. Kasi medyo mamahalin to na powder foundation from the drugstore. I'm not sure kung magkano sa Philippines. Pero merong J-Cat sa Philippines, di ba? 900 or 1,000 yata. Let me know please in the comment section below kung magkano. Ito, nakalimutan ko din yung price eh. Pero maglalagay naman ako dito sa screen. Pero sobrang pareho lang yung finish, pareho lang talaga yung dalawang to. Huwag kayong magtaka kung madaming bronzer yung mga makeup addicts kasi when you really swatch it, kasi nung naghanap talaga ako ng dupe, nahirapan ako. Kasi kung hindi sila pareho ng color, like pareho na sana, magkaiba lang yung undertone. Pareho na sana, magkaiba lang yung finish. Yung ganon. So, mahirap maghanap ng dupe talaga. Nung pinanood ko yung video ni Jamie Page, sabi niya, yung formula ni Melani, this is the Sun Kissed Silky Matte Bronzer in yung Charlotte Tilbury na Film Star, Film Star? Yeah, Film Star Bronze and Glow. Pareho daw. So, when I touch it, like, if itatouch mo lang, pareho talaga sila na super silky and matte silang dalawa. Matte but not flat. Pero yung color, guys, magkaiba siya. So, ito yung um, Melani sa gitna. Tapos, ito naman yung... Um, 
Charlotte Tilbury. Is it magkaiba yung color nila? Siguro if you want the same color, yung 01, baka pareho yun ng color dito kay Charlotte Tilbury. Pero yung ginamit ko sa cheeks today, kasi pareho yung finish nilang dalawa. Although hindi talaga ganun ka pareho yung color, but when you put it on her cheeks, like as you can tell, this is the Milani side. And this is the Girlactic side. So, ito yung gamit ko, the Girlactic bronzer in the shade Cabo. Yan. Uh, matte bronzer. Matte yung nakalagay si Likod. Pareho dito. Parang matte talaga siya. But silky and meron siyang life ng konti. Ganun yung pagka-describe ko. Kasi hindi ko din masasabi na glow eh. Kasi wala siyang glow. Pareho sila na matte but hindi flat. So, ganyan siya. Um, on my right, si Melani. Tapos sa left ko naman, si um, Cabo from Girlactic. Um, nagamit ko na to off-camera and pareho lang din sila ng longevity in fairness. And yeah, if you're looking for a dupe for this one, get the Melani bronzer. This bronzer is really, really nice ever since I got this. And ito na talaga yung ginagamit ko. And kung gusto nyo talaga ng same daw sa color na to, ilalagay ko lang yung link ni Jamie Page sa baba. Kasi I think yung 01 nito, pareho dito kay Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys already know how much I love this blush from M Cosmetics. This is called the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour Blush. I'm obsessed with this blush, guys. As in, super love this blush. This is the perfect peach blush. And yung um, alternative ko dito from the drugstore, hindi sila pareho. And it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Hindi ko siya hinap and half kasi nga magkaiba yung color nila. Pero yung formula. Parehong pareho talaga mga best. This is the Milani um, Petal Primavera Baked Powder Blush and this is how it looks like. I'm gonna put it side by side para makita nyo. Same formula, same effect on my cheeks. So kung gusto yung makasave talaga and you want the same effect that this blush gives, I can highly, highly recommend this one from Milani. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Again, hindi ko sila hinap and half kasi magkaiba yung color nila. Um, ito si um, M Cosmetics sa taas. So peach talaga siya. Wala siyang pink. Ito naman, peachy pink. So, meron siyang peach, meron din siyang pink. So, meron tong undertone ng pink. And again, it's what I have on my cheeks right now. This is so beautiful. Like, so, so beautiful. Same lang talaga. As in, same. Meron ako dito ng Rose de Oro. Meron kasi dibang baked blushes yung Milani na meron mga veining na gold. Um, yung Rose de Oro, ganun siya. Like, terracotta, meron veining na gold. Um, iba yung look niya sa skin ko. Luminous blush pa rin siya. Pero, iba yung formula nito. Yung plain lang. Um, so, itong plain nila talaga, ito yung same formula dito kay M Cosmetics. This blush is so, so pretty. nag a lang ako para mas intense. I understand kung bakit mahal itong blush na to from M Cosmetics. Kasi malaki naman siya, like madami. Tapos yung packaging monga din talaga. Pero kung ayaw niyo mag out ng ganong pera for a blush, then I can highly, highly recommend this. Promise, you're not gonna get disappointed. It's really, really pretty. Alam niyo na na super favorite ko din tong blush na to, yung Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Dolly. And this is how it looks like. This is really, really beautiful. It's gonna give you that healthy glow in your cheeks. Sometimes when I wear this, hindi na ako naka-highlighter kasi nga maganda siya. Meron siyang micro glitters pero hindi niyo napapansin yun. Um, pag titingnan ko talaga ng malapitan yung sinwatch ko sa kamay ko, makikita ko yung micro glitters. And same lang dito. Ito yung drugstore alternative niya. So, ito si Buxom sa taas. Tapos, ito naman si Maybelline Fit Me. So, yung Maybelline Fit Me na alternative, um, yung shade niya, Wine Borgone. And this is how it looks like. Open ko rin yung um, high-end para makita niyo. So, same lang talaga. Mas berry toned ng konti. Ito si Buxom in the shade Dolly. So, as you can tell, medyo may pagka-berry siya. Um, pero, when you put it on your cheeks, same lang talaga. And yung longevity nilang dalawa, dito sila nagkatalo ng konti. Kasi ito, primer infused siya eh. So, I worry dito lang sa bahay, mga 7 hours, um, mas potok pa talaga yung blush ko dito kaysa dito. Pero hindi siya na-erase. Hindi siya nag-fade. Meron pa talaga. Pero mas potok lang talaga to. But yung look nila sa skin, pareho lang. So, trust me when I tell you na same, same. Same lang talaga guys. As in, same lang talaga yung um, meron silang micro glitters. Mas berry tone lang talaga to ng konti. So yun, drugstore alternative for the Buxom um, Primer Infused Blush in Dolly. Si Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Wine Borgone. That is it for this video guys. I hope na gustuhan nyo to and I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. And again, as what I said on my past video, hindi po talaga ito yung perfect time na bumili or mag-shopping kayo ng makeup. Kung meron kayong nagustuhan or meron kayong gustong bilhin, 
ilista nyo lang, and then bilhin nyo na lang next time pag okay na lahat. Mag-igan po kayo palagi, and I'm praying for you guys always. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye-bye. I'm a new soul. I came to this strange world hoping I could learn.